check this out. So I bought the, here where you guys can see. I bought the uh, cheapest set of acetylene torches on eBay. So let's see what we get for a hundred bucks. So we got some really cheap regulators. We got a torch. I don't have really high hopes for this because it was so cheap. But, you know, go. Look, we even got some torch goggles. And here's our hoses. And our lighter. We gotta clean the torch. Looks like a, a heating nozzle. Probably be using that. And I even give you a wrench to tighten it all up with. How about that? So, I wonder if this stuff's any good. I know, uh, really, I just needed a set of uh, gauges and hoses because my old one's dry rotted. And a torch is not something I use very often. So, let's see if this works. A little bit. So, let's put this together and see if it works. Tell I've used that recently. What if it has any gas in it? Oh yeah. Okay, here's the world's cheapest set of gauges. This has been sitting so long, the valve is stuck on this acetylene. So let's see if I can't force it open. There it is. All right, got all the debris out of there. Put the acetylene regulator on here. That's backwards threads. Acetylene is red, ain't it? I think it's red and oxygen is green. Pretty sure that's how it works. I don't expect much. These hoses are only like 10 feet long or 15. Let's see here.
Okay, hoses are connected. Let's tighten up our torch head. Let's turn this gas on and you guys can see, you can see if it blows up. That's nice. send you some plastic to protect your, your cheap lenses he's looking out for us okay anyways get this guy open up I can't remember what pressure you're supposed to run oxygen at I'm thinking like 40 psi maybe put it right in there let's turn on the acetylene These lenses, I guess, that's what, I guess that's what I get when you buy cheap. Okay, and then, I don't know why that, that was like that with nothing in it. Whoa, we don't need that much. Let's see if the oxygen works. Oh yeah. I can hit the gas coming out. Well, better make sure that that's, that's not even tight. Oh, I guess let's, uh, let's see if she blows up. And we killed it. where she's supposed to be for cutting. I mean, it's working. So... I guess now we need to find something to cut with it. Really, I just need to heat something up, but we'll cut something too. This is a piece of 3 sixteenths. It's pretty thin stuff, so... Let's see if we can cut it. get this guy warmed up a little bit here you having a plasma cutter I almost never need a torch to cut anything with the main thing I use it for is heating up bolts and heating up metal to bend it let's see I was going too slow. I'm a little rusty on my, my torch skills. Yeah, it's flag filled now.
Well, it cuts metal. Again, it would probably, uh, I could probably cut a little better if, you know, it wasn't the fact that I haven't used a torch for like three years. But, you know, you'd think being a welder, I'd use a torch more often. Okay, so one project I do have for this right here is I need to bend this in like a U shape. So this is solid uh, inch and a half round stock, I do believe. So, yeah, so I'm going to heat it up right in this general area. And I got it in the stake pocket on the trailer to help me bend it down. All right, this should be the tip specifically for heating. So let's give her a go. I did something wrong. done it this time. Okay, we're going to go back to the cutting tip. Come on now. Try again. Wait, he did. 
meet up with this guy. Brought out the reinforcement.
I might have uh, weakened that a little bit. But we got her. We got about half of the way I want it, but that stuff's harder to bend than I thought. And where it's so thick, the heat disperses from it so quick, it's hard to get it good and hot. But I'm going to run across here, and then we'll chop that off right in there about even, and it'll be good enough for what I'm using it for. So you might be wondering. Eh, we'll go ahead and show you. Here is uh, my plan for this guy. Was I wanted a uh, pusher bar for this. I talked about making one when I first got the tractor. You know, it only took me a year, but anyways, I got a nice curve on this side, but this side didn't work out too well. So I'm going to chop it in here and then move this curve up here and we'll get her, we'll get her situated. And I'm going to get to cutting this into pieces and then we'll put it back together. It's going to get loud. <laughs> kind of how I want it to look so I'm put that together basically tight like that and then we got to say pusher bar so I think that'll be pretty sweet
And there you have the finished product. So it's not the most, the prettiest thing in the world there, but it just matches the rest of the tractor. And what it is, the reason I wanted this on here is because whenever I'm brush hogging and I'm plowing over the little saplings and stuff, it uh, when they hit this, all the leaves and sticks and stuff try and poke into the radiator. So having this, it'll kind of help push them away the closer you get. So... Plus, then it's a bonus where that's solid, it gives a little extra weight. But, I don't think it, I don't think it looks too bad. So, not per, I wish I could have got that perfect curve right there, over here too, that would have been awesome. But, anyways, so, the cheapest set of torches on eBay. Are they worth buying? Well, I mean, if you're someone like me, probably so. Because I'm not, I use, I very seldom do I ever use a torch. If I'm using it, it's usually to heat up a bolt, to cut a bolt head off, or to heat up and bend a piece of metal. That's it. If I need to cut something, I use my plasma cutter. So if you're kind of in the same scenario that I am, and you just every now and again, it's one of the things, when you need it, you need it, then I would say, yeah, it'd just be good to have around. So... I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, like I said, I think it was like 100, 105 bucks. And, you know, you guys got to see how they work. So, and I'm sure I'll use them here and there. But for the most part, I got them put back in the box. So, at least I got a nice little container to keep them in. And now, are they going to last as long as, say, a good quality name brand torch? Uh, absolutely not. There's, I mean, they're made cheap. But, again... Like, for what I'm doing, perfect. You know, I don't have to go spend a fortune on a nice torch set to use it, you know, once or twice a year. So, anyways, I guess that'll do it for this one. So, I think I'm going to go cut down a tree. Catch you guys in the next one.